Hello, my name is Rob Tong. I work at La Rich Toyota Subaru in Finley. And today we're going to be talking about one of the many accessories that are available on the brand new 2016 Subaru Outback. Uh, we're going to be talking today about the cross rails up top and maybe some of the advantages and disadvantages that it would have compared to many other crossover or SUVs in today's world. Uh, most of the crossovers will have the rails as this does, but they will have the removable rails that will go horizontally across instead of the length of the car for aerodynamics. Now the disadvantage behind them, if you run them like that year round, inevitably it could create like a wind whistling noise depending on the speeds you're traveling and that such. Uh, plus the appearance isn't always the best. So in a perfect world, if you could have the crossbars running the same direction and create a situation where it was very, very simple to have them move would be a perfect scenario. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it on the brand new Outback and it'll give you a true feeling for what it's like to have a very, very nice crossbar set. Up to the roof level of this car just to give you a better idea how this works. Now, like I say, most of the other vehicles, the rails will be going this way. Many of them will have like clips that'll attach around this bar. Then you use like an Allen wrench to actually secure or, or move them, um, which is not the easiest procedure. On the new Outback, just like last year's version, you've got one um, attachment here. You can take one finger, lift up on this, and this will pop out. This side over here is on a stationary swivel. So when I need it, I would simply click this one here, grab the other one, immediately click it down. Now this year has also been revised because I've got rope tie down anchors right here and here on both sides. So now once I have my attachment up here, my rails are down, I'm securing maybe a kayak or something like that. I've also got tie downs, which I did not have before. It's very, very simple to put them back into place. So when you're not hauling something up top, literally, it's a simple clip, they're in place, it's aerodynamic, I don't have noise anymore. Now another nice advantage is, let's say I am hauling something a little bit larger, a secured Subaru application, um, I can actually take this and use a factory torque wrench that is supplied in the rear compartment with the jack and the tools. This is a star style wrench and I can actually unscrew this out and I can change the location of that rail. Now I've spread it apart and I'm actually able to hold a kayak or whatever, a ski rack um, with some more distance which in turn is going to make it actually handle better. Now realizing most of the rails, just like on this exact unit, you're only allowed to place 150 pounds up here. Um, because depending on the size of what you are attaching and the height of that, it can also influence how it actually makes the car handle. So always make sure, if, first off, if you move the rails, you torque it to the specific torque that it's supposed to be at and also realizing with the air blowing against what that item is, it can also influence how the car handles. But that's an incredibly nice system. It's very, very easy to manipulate, and that's the brand new Subaru Outback cross rail set. Thank you.